Should it be illegal for children under the age of 13 to buy a smartphone? Well, there's a new grassroots effort to stop the sale of smartphones to children under 13. That group called Parents Against Underage Smartphones is collecting signatures to get that initiative on the 2018 ballot. Dr. Timothy Farnham, the founder and president of PAUSE, is here to tell us more this morning. Good to see you, doctor. Good to be here. Thanks so for having me. So how did you start this? Where did this idea come from? Um, well, I... Um you know, I just want to thank you for having me, and um, it really started because I'm uh, I'm a doctor, but I come at this as uh, more from a parent and a father. And uh, with five kids, I've seen what happens when you know you give a, a child a handheld internet device, and they go from being outgoing, energetic, interested in the world, and happy to reclusive. They want to spend all their time in their room. Um, they lose interest in outside activities, and um, so I've seen this happen. And what happens when you take it away? Well, at first they, you know, are really angry and uh, have fits of anger. And uh, then, after a few weeks, they're their old self again. They they want to read books and you know go outside and do regular activities. So I started looking at. Um, what is what is the research? And I mean, we've seen some of this research to really back this up, that when you take it away, they go back to, to being themselves. Right. Do you think it's going to take time before we see the long-term research on how it's affecting kids, maybe even a decade later? Well, that's exactly right. Um, you know, the psychologists would love to do a 20-year study and show what happens, you know, to the children um, in the long run. But uh, unfortunately, we don't have 20 years for our kids to wait. And um, there was a great study just out of London uh, in England which showed that for every half hour of screen time, um, on average, a child between the ages of zero and three uh, received, uh, there was a 50% chance that they would have uh, significant you know, wow. speech and language development delays as they entered school. Um, the American Academy of Pediatrics has recommended for the last 15, 20 years that between zero and three, there should be zero screen time four to six, seven, you know, maybe an hour, and then, you know, seven and 12, maybe two hours. Well, we know you are uh, specifically saying smartphones, not cell phones. You would still be able to communicate with your kids under the age of 13 if you want them to have a phone, but it's the right. smartphone specifically. Yeah. And we know there's some other technicalities to what you've written and that you need volunteers to help right. you with this initiative, right? Exactly, okay. yeah. We will put all of that information on our website. Thanks for coming in this morning. We okay. appreciate it. We're going right. to be hearing a lot more about this um, okay. in the coming years. Thank well, you. Thanks. We'll be right back.